So the next instructional demo is for the custom settings and preferences management which is going to be example 3 on the miscellaneous slide deck and basically what you're going to be looking at here is uh, is starting from opening the tool to do this so if you go to your start programs go down to solid edge ST9 solid edge tools you'll have settings and preferences wizard and you can open that and show how you can capture settings and preferences deploy settings and preferences or restore solid edge factory preferences and settings so you can capture them uh, solid edge is not going to be uh, not going to be able to be opened for certain uh, for certain sessions but it's going to automatically zip that stuff up for you so that you have a zip file of those things of course at this point you also have the option of uh, selecting registry settings app data files this is going to be all of your customization stuff users app data uh, preferences folders as well as template files so you can capture all of this inside of this zip file and then uh, from there it's just being able to use it so you can go to file man or not file management but user profile and there's going to be some new options here for Solid Edge ST9 and that's going to be uh, deploy settings and preferences during startup of Solid Edge so basically if you want to point somebody to uh, your, your settings and preferences files which would be uh, wherever you zip that up, wherever you, you place it whenever you zip it up and you want to be able to reuse those settings each time on startup uh, you can easily do that through this user profile option to deploy every time you start up uh, as well as capturing settings and preferences during the exit so basically this is going to allow you to if you have this file located on a central server you have a couple different systems you work on or you know you have one on the bottom uh, computer on the bottom floor computer on the top floor whatever the case may be uh, you can capture your settings from the end of your previous uh, solid edge session and then deploy them whenever you start up solid edge elsewhere all from the same area so that you get that consistent workflow now in the slide deck uh, right after you give this example um, the the one caveat to this is this only works for the same version of Solid Edge, and this was done kind of for the cloud initiative, so that you can have all of your your same settings and preferences, uh, no matter what system you happen to be on. For when you're pulling uh, files from the cloud, and you and you can log in, it'll allow you to pull that stuff off of there eventually as well. Not yet, but eventually. Uh, so that's why it was done this way, and uh, but it won't allow you to go version to version inside of Solid Edge. So you can't. Uh, uh, have your settings and preferences from ST9 then carry over to ST10 as of yet that's something that they're looking at but uh, that's the demo for settings and preferences management